Maria Wall. Uh, you are associated professor um, at the Division of Energy and Building Design at the Lund University in Sweden. Uh, you combine two different research disciplines, which is um, you have a Master of Science of Architecture and a second one is PhD in Engineering. Currently, you are leading an international research program, which is called Solar Energy in Urban Planning, which is part of the IAA Solar Heating and Cooling Program. So what uh, do urban planners need to know about solar energy? I think they need to know a lot because today they are not aware of the importance of, of planning for solar energy. From, for almost 2,000 years we used the, the right to light to plan our cities and uh, we don't do that today. And uh, they need also uh, for doing this, they need supporting tools and methods and uh, knowledge to, to work on this. Oh, interesting. Right to light. Does it mean that you sort of can use the daylight on your house or you can use the facade for producing hot water? Or what is, do you mean with that? Yes, it is an old right um, that makes you uh, have the right to have solar access onto your building uh, so you can harvest solar energy, both for ener energy use and for uh, energy production and for daylighting. So um, how can you implement such a right uh, to use energy on your house in a city? Well, if, if you, if for instance, want to, you have a house and you want to put uh, solar panels on it, on the facades and roof maybe, and, and you invest in this and you want to be sure that, that there is no other building erected uh, across the street in one, on one or two years. Uh, you, have, you want to have long-term uh, access to this solar. So you have the right to have solar energy onto your building. That's the right to light. And it could also cover daylighting issues. So you have daylight into your building. So that means um, in, in at uh, the end, uh, an end consumer who has constructed a house can go to the court if a neighbor constructs higher than him and uh, his uh, sun installation is suddenly uh, in shadow. Yes, that should happen, but uh, that could be a, a court case, yes. Or it could be simply also that uh, uh, the, the owner that has the solar panels um, or have complaints from the neighbors, so they are not installing them at all. So you as a research program, how do you support uh, these urban planners in doing this kind of work, doing other kind of uh, like uh, planning of cities or new neighborhoods? Well, we work together with uh, the municipalities. Uh, so all the participants in the project, we, we are active in this uh, in local and regional urban cases and planning. So, and we, we help them to, to develop methods and tools and, and we also test them in, in the cities and get feedback and so we can develop them further. So it's a win-win situation. And that's what we call action research. Ah, so that means that um, you sort of develop tools while you uh, plan new uh, housing areas, sort of. Yes, so it's, it's really real cases in cities. We, we work together with the municipalities and with uh, all, the, all other actors involved in the planning phase. So um, I think your, your research program is rather wide in discipline. So it was there a certain difficulty at the beginning to understand each other, if a planner, an architect, and uh, maybe an energy specialist or a solar planner talk to each other? Well, we had a long discussion uh, how to define different words. Uh, <laughs> so we had kind of a glossary to, to understand each other somehow, but it was not so so uh, problematic, no. And uh, the last question, how about uh, research? I mean, uh, or the, like, in terms of education, I think that's a big issue probably because urban planners need to know already in their fundamental uh, trainings about these issues. Did you work in this field? 
Yes, we worked on educational issues and, and the dissemination, and there is really a lack of uh, courses and teaching related to solar energy in urban planning. There are courses for about technologies, solar technologies, uh, but not on the planning uh, of them in, in cities. So that's really a, a problem, and this has to be uh, worked on. And we have done some uh, developments to support the teaching that will be presented. On this conference, so you have a speech and you will present some of your work. Yes, and it will be uh, uh, reported on the website also. Okay, so the, your program is uh, part of the solar heating and cooling program and your results are uh, always published on this website, iea-shc.org. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.